Let me have your attention for a moment. Because you're talking about what? You're talking about... Bitching about that kill you bought some son of a bitch you don't want to buy the house you're haunting. Somebody who's impossible to scare, some broad you're trying to terrorize, so forth. Let's talk about something important. You all here, Carpenter? All but Voorhees, Mr. Kruger. Well, I'm going anyway. Let's talk about something important. <coughs> Put that co-ed down. Co-eds are for killers only. You think I'm fucking with you? I am not fucking with you. I'm here from downtown. I'm here from King and Craven. And I'm on a mission of mercy. Your name's Leatherface? Yeah. You call yourself a slasher, you son of a bitch? I don't gotta listen to this shit. You certainly don't, Chucky, because the good news is you're fired. The bad news is you got all you got one night to regain your job, starting with tonight. Starting with Halloween night. Oh. Have I got your attention now? You got victims. King and Craven provided you good victims. You can't kill the victims you're given. You can't kill shit. You are shit! Hit the bricks, pal, and beat it because you are going out! The victims are weak. The victims are weak? Fucking victims are weak? You're weak. I've been in this business 36 years. What's your name? Fuck you! That's my name! You know why, mister? Because you drove a play school big wheel to get here tonight, and I drove an $80,000 BMW. That's my name. A. B. K. A. Always. B. B. K. Killing. Always. Be. Killing. Always. Be. Killing. Get out there! You got victims coming in, you think they're visiting graveyards and abandoned cab sites because they like the view? A victim doesn't split up from their group unless he wants to get killed. They're sitting out there waiting to give you their lives. Are you gonna take it? Are you scary enough to take it? <laughs> What's the problem, pal? You, Chucky. You're such a slasher. You're so rich. How come you're coming down here wasting time with a bunch of bums? You see this sweater? Yeah? You see this sweater? Yeah? This sweater costs more than your entire film franchise. I killed 970,000 people last year. How much you kill? You see, pal, that's who I am, and you're nothing. Nice catchphrase? I don't give a shit. Good gimmick? Fuck you. Go home and change your batteries. You want to work here? Kill. I can go out tonight with the victims you've got and kill 15,000 people. Tonight, in two hours, can you? Can you? Get mad, you son of a bitch, just get mad! You know what it takes to be a slasher? Brass balls. And some kind of horrible facial disfigurement. You see these? These are the Glengarry victims. And to you, they're gold, and you don't get them. Why? Because to give them to you would be like throwing them away. They're for killers. And to answer your question, pal, why am I here? I came here because King and Craven asked me for a favor. I said the real favor, follow my advice and fire your fucking ass because a loser is a loser. I'd wish you good luck, gentlemen, but you wouldn't know what to do with it if you got it. You had a pair of brass balls and a briefcase, right? No, no, yeah, I, I saw that. the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. They talk movies. They talk TV. They talk about how prolonged exposure to the show could prove fatal, but they didn't want to cause a panic. I'm your announcer Julie. And this may be the one time in which Halloween is the least scariest day of the year, since every other day in 2020 has been a terrifying fucking nightmare. Here are your horrifying hosts. Matthew Stewart. DJ Valentine, and Justin Polizzi. Trick or treat, kids. This is the October edition of the Simplistic Reviews podcast. For show purposes, I'm DJ Valentine. I'm joined by two guys who are perpetually hoping uh, they get some sugar rushes this Halloween. Necromancer, Matthew Stewart, and jovial cult leader, Justin Polizzi. Happy Halloween, guys. Or for Justin, the 
Happy Devil's Night, because you're literally in the anal cavities of hell. You're as a California He's resident. Inside yes, Devil's thank you. asshole. Right are, are you? Now. We're going live to Justin Pelosi live in California. Justin, can you tell us how the fires are going over there? Yeah, they're doing pretty good. Um, you know, every day this year, I've I've essentially gone to bed thinking I'm going to die the next day. <laughs> so you know, this is nothing new. Uh, right. It's a little toasty. Okay. Toasty. Smoky. Okay. Smoky. But you know what? Pretty good. I'm getting a little bit more light now throughout the day, which should get more stuff done. Uh huh. Which is always really nice. <laughs> But, you know, there's it feels like lava all around me. And, uh, you know, I'll probably be dead within 24 hours at this point. So it's when, all good. As your life is now descending into a fiery, burning chasm, can you tell us, like, the smell, the overall aroma of California at this point? Yeah, a lot of, lot of like, burnt flesh right now. Burnt uh, flesh. Yeah, burnt flesh. Uh, a lot of... Uh, a lot of shit smells, you know, a lot of dead, mm. dead egg. It sounds like, uh, well, it's tough to explain. It's very smoky. Uh, you know, I don't want to get racist or anything. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. What's that? <laughs> What's that? Right, continue, What's continue. that, Bob? <laughs> continue. Yeah, so, like, you know, just shit, Mike. shit really hit the, shit really, uh, hit the store. Shit hit the store? It's a thing that nobody's coming. ever said. There's a storm coming, and uh, I'm pretty sure we're not going to make it, so... Uh, the shit really hit the bed this morning. You know, the, the shit hit the storm. The storm's already here, and uh, there's no really turning back. Uh, I'm pretty much, uh, you know, I've written, I, I written my will months ago, and at this point, I think I'm just going to take my own life. I think a lot of smoke inhalation. That's Justin Belizzi live on the scene in hell. Yep. <laughs> Literally in hell. Well, that's Thanks what for you calling in, guys. No really problem, appreciate guys. it. I wish you all the best. Be it's safe fun. out there, Justin. Be yeah, be safe out there. <laughs> I, I mean, be safe no, out there with all your freedoms of being in a, in a blue state. I, now well, it's a real red state. Yeah, no, it's red, all right. Uh, <laughs> I want to thank uh, Donald Trump for not doing a goddamn thing. And, uh, well, maybe you should have uh, cut your brush back or whatever he said what <laughs> what yes yeah, no, he should have swept out the, the leaves, leaves is what he's been saying keep the leaves off the ground you know my understanding is that the federal government owns most of uh, california the state right. only has like five percent of the land so uh he's a cocksucker and uh, the mm. death toll just keeps going for him doesn't it yeah but you know you go big or go home that's what hitler said oh yeah. wait easy easy easy, easy. <laughs> time for a segment more frightening and the thought of re-election. It's scary thoughts. 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 This is the segment where I try to make statements about the entertainment industry that could happen in an attempt to terrify the hell out of Matt and Justin, which probably is going to be impossible because they've seen some shit. Uh, I've seen some shit that will turn me, me. <laughs> turn you into you. Uh, <laughs> are you guys ready? No. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> first, <laughs> first scary thought. Wait, I'm positive, Justin. Yes. yes. Yay! Just, okay. We're, we're joined by Justin too for the rest of the show. Justin too. Uh, here we go. Fast and the Furious recently confirmed space uh, adventure is so successful, the producers take the natural step and move on to making a sequel using a time machine. Wait, what? Fast and the Furious. Oh, is, is that really one. happening? Is that, is that happening? They're making. Well, okay. Oh, okay. We, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> I thought this was already like happening, though. Well, half of this is, is happening. They're going. I thought space. maybe the whole thing was happening. They already made the decision. The other thing. Has well, see, the thing yet? is, the thing is, Tom Cruise is doing a Mission Impossible all in space, and so now they're like, the well, let's thing. do what Tom Cruise is doing. Right. Yeah, they're doing space, but Cruise. it'd be if, if if they make money, the only place they can go after space is time travel. That's the only other place they can go. That's the only place you can go. Why can't, I mean, they, go, yeah, why can't can... they go under the sea? Couldn't they go to like another galaxy? Uh, yeah, that's, that's still space. Though. Or why under can't the they? Sea why... might be another one. I never thought about under the sea. Yeah, go Maybe. under. Go into like um, under I'm, the sea. I mean, the already had Jason Statham. He fought the big shark already. Oh, and Meg. Yeah, they make a sequel of that too. Yeah, they got. He fought the big shark. And, I uh, think they should change the name from Meg to Karen. No, oh, yeah. Karen. <laughs> <laughs> These humans are too cold. <laughs> Ray Liotta was on top of the I want to talk Karen. to your manager. Karen. <laughs> Karen. <laughs> Watch your dishwasher. Use it, you bitch. 
Is that what he says? <laughs> I think it's paraphrased. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember Goodfellas. I'm fucking to look the pigsty over here. They thought you were fucking dishwasher. Use it. Use it. Oh. And then she <laughs> proceeds to suck his dick or something like that. I no, believe. she doesn't. No, no. no. Car- Karen does blow Ray Liotta, though, in the movie. It does happen. So does, does Debbie Mazar. So, uh... No, you don't see her do it, though. We don't, don't see Karen do it. You don't see Lorraine Baracco do it either. It's implied. Oh, it's implied. He basically <laughs> gave her money, and then she blew him in that scene. He's like, oh, right. Yeah, I've never, Goodfellas. I've never seen, if if I've you look at it, at woke culture. Guys like, yeah. Woke culture would not like Goodfellas now. <laughs> if, you, if you if you're into woke Goodfellas, culture doesn't like much. Much, yeah. no, <laughs> not much. There is inherently a problem with every single thing that's ever been made by anybody in the history of things being. I believe they have the col- they have history a, of history. I believe they have a problem with the Crayola Crown Blue. Yeah, if they don't like Smurfs. I can tell you that shit. Hmm? Uh, I mean, they don't know why the blue can't be green. Mm. It's true, but then when you make it green, it's like, well, now you just made it green just to make me happy. It's like, <sighs> hey, give me what I want. That's racist. So right, anyway, space, um, <laughs> space. <laughs> oh, I, I thought well, I thought we were really gonna have a good conversation about. No, that's that, it. The, the uh, <laughs> we're done with that. Are uh, they gonna go on the water? That's next. I, I never thought about underwater. That could be a, that could be a good make it like uh, the, uh, make it like alternative. The can't you see them going back in time to save uh, Brian from? Oh, that would, see, that would something? be woke. That'd be super woke. Yeah, uh, well, Go back in time to save the white savior. <laughs> the white savior. Why save Brian, his family? Uh, uh, why? Why won't they just end it? I, I don't know. I don't know, Justin. I don't understand. Just, it's like uh, the, it's like a it's like a terrible infection on you. You know, you it should have ended two movies ago when, when Paul Walker passed away. That's when it should have fucking ended. <laughs> Right no, there. That, that ship has sailed. Money. <laughs> That's the answer. Yeah, Paul Matthew Walker. just put pinpointed it right there. Yeah. I'll pinpoint something else for you. I'll pinpoint something else for you. Else for you. I'm pretty sure, sure The Rock killed the Paul Walker. <laughs> oh, easy, yeah, easy, but, easy. That's this. Let's, let's make let's it put, shit up. Let's put that out in the world. I'm not making anything up. It's not proven <laughs> to be wrong. Yeah. Oh, my God. I can't prove him wrong. And prove I can't him prove him wrong. right. So, in some kind of world, he could be right. <laughs> yeah. I think I think when in one of the multi universes, that's true. He took the role over. He wanted a franchise. He's murdering people. Oh, this, this fucking guy, this this throwing salt on the rock. It's like throwing the, salt yeah. on the great one. It's like the movie Terror Firmer, you know, where you have a murderer on the set killing the actors. Just first so off, I need you not to ever reference Terra Firma ever. I think, this, I think this is the second <laughs> podcast in a row I've referenced Terra. <laughs> I stop believe you have. Reference. That's true. Yeah. Please stop it. <laughs> it must be something deep inside me that requires um that film <laughs> in my life i want to give it to you i'm gonna get i'm gonna let this i'll let this one pass all right next one uh the flash film that michael keaton is reportedly appearing in oh is so God. bad yeah it tarnishes the legacy of keaton's batman much like kingdom of the crystal skull I, I know, I, i'm gonna take no. this one Matt. <clears throat> I'm take oh, this okay one. <laughs> I got I got. <laughs> fucking asshole. Now, this could happen. We don't know. <laughs> Look, I'm just, guy, I'm just, I'm just positing this these here. things. This okay. could happen. No, Matt, I want to hear your opinion first. No, I don't really have one. It's not gonna. Yeah. It's not, It's gonna ruin my. I just, no. I just want to be in that boardroom at Warner Brothers. I like, don't. Well, we fucked up pretty big, huh? <laughs> so what do we do? Well, there's this thing called multiverse. Uh, yeah, we and created. We could do time travel, and yeah. we could uh, fix our problems. Okay, let's do it. See, my problem is, um, and that's where we the don't have an official. Comes in. We don't have an official. Um, what the fuck did you just say? And that's, <laughs> and that's where you work in the the crossover, of Fast and Furious, and Batman. Finally, oh, two fucking asshole. Don't treasured ever franchises. Again. Don't you live ever say forever? That again. So, <laughs> Michael <laughs> Keaton has not been confirmed. No, but apparently it's true he's in the artwork of the of the movie but you know whatever he's in the what artwork? artwork if you watch dc fan though that came out last month oh, yeah. they no, had a like art we had artwork for flashpoint and the batman that was behind flash was michael keaton's batman wasn't that the fan drawing i saw no that was actual fucking artwork from dc that was <laughs> okay. the fan dome that drew well it. and then you have apparently ben affleck also being in this movie Apparently, and yes. apparently Ben Affleck, who said he was done with it, is coming back. We don't have any notice of that, as well as I just heard HBO Max wants to bring Ben Affleck back as Batman. Once again, 
I know we talked podcasts ago last year, whatever it was, about Mm -hmm. so many Joker. Remember, they had so many Joker movies at one time. Now we have too many Batman things going on. (laughs) Batman, 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 Batman. What's better than one Batman? And honestly, seven Batman. If you look at this DC universe, Mm. it's quite complicated and confusing. So (laughs) instead of simplistic. What's your simplistic review of the DC universe starring Batman? Complex. (laughs) <laughs> very complex I'm instead of instead of simplifying things and making it simplistic they just want to over complex it even more mm-hmm. it sounds like now nothing's been confirmed so therefore this is could be this is a scary bullshit. thought this is not a real thing you don't know what's happening here well you know and then you add in the fact that apparently Cyborg's going to be in this movie oh fuck now Cyborg just what's got done doing? an investigation apparently Oh yeah, Ray Fisher. Yeah, Ray Fisher, Ray Fisher apparently he, was investigated. And he got investigated too. Oh, yeah. Well, apparently, Uh-oh. what he's saying isn't going with the investigation. So Uh-oh. I'm not picking sides or saying anything. I'm just saying there is a big bowl of fucking bullshit craziness going on right there. I think Warner Brothers needs to sh- chill the fuck out and sit down for a while. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> go I, hate to, I hate to break it to you. They're not. They're not going to be a heroin addict inside of a fucking heroin factory. You don't know where to begin. It's the perfect job for a heroin fiend. It's the best place I could possibly be. You won't believe what I got. I got a new job, ma. I got a new player. That's a heroin factory. factory. I'm doing something I really love. Finally. My passion is my job. My job Uh. is my passion. I could be high all day and work all day. My mom always said, if only you could get paid to jerk off. Here is another one that's kind of a uh, hand in hand with the previous one, right. which is uh, DC makes the same mistake and sees the favorable reception of the uber dark and serial killery the Batman film and tries to make all their other films uber dark as well. Didn't they, they do that already, right? Yeah, as I said, make the same <sighs> mistake. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, so this is like the, the, you did a two phase, you flipped the coin, right. and we did on one side. Now we're like, oh, well, this is going to be successful. And they're gonna DC. Go back. This is another clean slate we're giving them DC, I guess. Because why, like why? Six... why are we doing this? Why are we giving them a clean slate? <laughs> because the internet They've, says they fired like five different regimes since the last movie. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Because it really feels like nothing has changed. <laughs> I, 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 seriously, I mean, I, I can't say this enough. They just need to fucking stop. Money. They what don't know what they're earlier. doing. Money. But are they making that much money though? Well, here's no. the thing. I guarantee yeah. you, all this, huh. all this, will come out whenever the uh, Zack Snyder fucking piece of shit storm yes. four part episode uh, fucking Snyder. HBO Max Snyder cut Snyder shit storm. If that does well, then yeah. they'll go ahead with this. If it goes terrible then it will just never be talked about ever again here's what i say about the snyder cut which i've said before flash movies have we heard about they're now? not changing anything having to do with the script that's why i don't give a fuck what visual you're showing they're me. just they're just adding scenes that were like, it, hey, the we story is still garbage this, right, instead <laughs> of using the scene with bruce wayne with a fake wig you're gonna say bruce wayne with, with a real another fake here. wig with yeah. a, that's like there's no difference yeah. <laughs> oh look it just looks a little bit better Hey, hey. Cyborg's playing football. Okay, but All the right. story still sucks. <laughs> what, what are we doing here? It doesn't really change much, I don't think. If he told, if Zack Snyder said, "Hey, we're hiring writers. We're gonna redo this. We're gonna redo reshoot a lot of these scenes," then I'd be like, "Okay, all right, all right, I get." But it's, it's the same fucking movie. <laughs> Just hey, <laughs> hey, we're gonna let Chris Terrio write the entire script this time. Right. Oh, and David Goyer is gonna Chris edit it Terrio. for him, though. Chris Terrio, right. who's got the? You want to talk about uh, fucking? Uh, Flavor Ball of the Grace. month. I mean, yeah. Jesus, he's made one thing that's been marginally okay, and that's Argo. The Which rest is based on a true shit. story. So, yeah, so right. it wasn't even when, him. When, when, <laughs> when you have a creative uh, control over something and you can't figure it out, then oh, fucking hell. you have to resort to history books, then I don't really think you have much of a creative uh, mind. All right, here comes the next one. This is a completely unrelated thing. And a radical move that was, uh, this would probably be this one. Yeah. Radical! Radical, and a radical move that was actually move. considered in the uh, was actually considered in the past. The next James Bond will be American, not uh, not British. Really? Well, I'm sorry, DJ. If, if I, think I you're may wrong. interject, Matt. 
<laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is Why? not again. None of these are true. These are just things that could happen. It's scary. Thing, are you making right? this but up, or did you get? I'm this making from all of this up. This is oh, all okay. scary. Th- I said I, it in no, the beginning. He's, he's got <laughs> he's got some uh, insider scoop. No, I don't. I made all of this up. These are just things he that were ta- scary. He, he's got the broccoli. I want to scare Justin. Justin, James dial. Bond is no longer British. He's now American. So okay. his, his name's Jason Bourne. Jason. Yeah. <laughs> his name mm-hmm. is, is played by Matt Damon. Yeah. <laughs> Six-year-old Matt Damon. They'll keep his name. They'll, they, imagine they made a James Bond where it's James Bond. He's from, you know, Connecticut. Well, it's very well, scary. You, well, you had James Bond Jr. who was American in the cartoon. Was he, Amer- was he American in the cartoon? Yes, I can't remember. It's he very Amer- scary. American born and bred. What you say, oh, DJ. I didn't know that. But you know what? I'm, at this point, I can see it happening. Oh fuck! I know they considered it for a while. Wasn't Car- uh, Cary uh, Grant gonna be Bond the, for a the, little bit? The problem with this game, Cary Grant, somebody else. nowadays. Yeah, the game that you're playing right now is too real. It's too real. <laughs> and this, <laughs> isn't, this isn't even a game That's why anymore. It's scary, scary oh, thoughts. Like it. It's very scary, and quite frankly, uh, you should be embarrassed. There was a, 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 yeah, a, a, a Google it. I'm pretty sure there was a time where they were going to make James Bond. Yeah, they were. They, there was. Yes, there was multiple periods of time where things were going to get a little crazy in that world, but it never happened. And imagine if it did, though, Justin. Imagine if it did. Well, it didn't. Yeah. Imagine, imagine if it, it didn't like, happen. I don't know like why everything has to change point. now, though. That's my point. Change it because nobody nobody believes that a British person could be a spy anymore. No. If you were to uh, ask any woman, normal fucking person, Bond should be Russian. Describe oh, James Bond, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Describe James Bond. What would right. they say? They would probably say tuxedo, British guy, in my sense. Male, male, oh, what, British oh, no. guy <laughs> who slays a lot of ass, right? And drinks a lot of liquor. A lot of there liquor. you go. This Gadgets. guy fucks, so, drinks. So what you're saying is pretty fucking scary spies. because it doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> and it's probably gonna change. I'm just giving you a scary thought. Scary thoughts. That's my scary, scary thought. thought. This is never uh, happen. <laughs> well, the scary <laughs> thought that you should have had was like this person's actually gonna play this American James Bond. Oh wow, well, James Vanderbeek. Who would you cast? Who would you cast as American Vanderbeek. James Bond? James Vanderbeek. Oh fuck off! James Vanderbeek's like 60 years old. No, Devin like Sawa. Get like Zac Efron as Bond. That's a, that's a, that's a um, scary thought right there. <laughs> How about? Uh, I'd rather have Never Too Young to Die remake with Zach. Yeah. <laughs> I would, you would watch lot, the fuck out of Never Too Young yeah. to Die remake. <laughs> That'd be great. That, that Star or... girl. Star girl. Star girl. I want to play Gene Simmons. <laughs> of course you do. Everybody <laughs> wants to play Gene Simmons. <laughs> you guys start growing that crack new out now. Because you just want to scream did. Stargrove. I just don't want to. I don't. I don't want to be Stargrove. I just want to be somebody in the movie so I can say Stargrove. That's you what. Want, oh, you want to be the guy off camera who's like, "That's Stargrove." That's Stargrove. I just want to be that guy. <laughs> Every time I get watch that movie. All right, there's when another. That, when that remake tonight. happens, you go down to central casting. It's like, what do you want to be? It's like, I want to be an extra. Extra what? <laughs> the uh, Never Too Long Young to Die remake that you guys are filming. It's like we're not filming that. It's like, yeah, you are. Yeah. Oh, you're doing. It. Oh, you're I, have a, doing I, have, I guess I have a good thought for you. This makes me happy. <laughs> I like this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm thinking of the scary. title. You know like, what's scary about it? Never though? say never, never too young to die. Yeah. Oh, look at this fucking. <laughs> Let's see. That's really good right Let's there. Go ahead. Uh, it's all right. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, Kevin Spacey makes a comeback and reteams with his director that helped him nab him the first Oscar, Brian Singer, Ooh. and make a film produced by Jailbird, Harvey Weinstein. Man, I want to see that. <laughs> that's, that's, that, scary that, that, that's just that's just fucked up enough to it's probably be, about some molestation too yeah <laughs> it's called uh it's they make a remake of uh the human centipede yeah the thing that's scary yeah. about that <laughs> is they, not that that would involved. happen it's the fact that they got to do all that for real yeah <laughs> yeah it, the thing that's scary about it is it'll, it would probably be a good movie because they're very talented. They're the scumbags. Yeah. Well, the thing that's scary <laughs> well, about so are it we. is <laughs> that it actually happened. <laughs> yes, we've seen the we've seen them work together already. And yes. it's been good. <laughs> Usual Suspects is a good movie. It's I'm not saying that. Nah, I'm shit. saying the other stuff. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, here's another one. This is probably just uh, scary to me. Continuing this era of cynicism and nihilistic practices... Uh And tearing down past franchises and shitting on what came before. The original cast of Jurassic Park, Goldblum, Dern, and Neil, will all die in the new Jurassic World game or movie. Well, I'm sorry to say this, but I I think that's what's going to (laughs) happen. 
I'm gonna be fucking upset. Will they, will they get killed by the dinosaurs? I, I don't see it actually being any other way. I honestly see them being their old characters, and they need why to come out. Why would you of kill off these characters? They're, they're beloved. Well, DJ, why we've been asking that that question for the last yeah. couple of years. Um, <laughs> why do you, you find an answer like that? No. Hey, Han Solo. Oh shit. Hey, John Connor. Oh shit. <laughs> hey, hey uh, the, the Han Solo thing made sense initially, and then it made no sense. That made was no sense. That, that was the problem with that one. Yeah. I, I can I can give that one. Half credit. I let it go because that was kind of the intention for Return of the Jedi anyway. So I was like, yeah. okay, whatever. But it's, it, now it's like every movie that you, you're, you're digging in. Like they killed Bill Murray in that Ghostbusters remake. It's, 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 they can't keep fighting all of these fucking old properties and murdering off the... What if they, oh, what they what do. If they, what if they just turn them into dinosaurs? <laughs> they transform them. Well, they've already established that Goldblum was like, a fly once. He could be Brundle, 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 dinosaur. Brundle, 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 Raptor. Brundle Sword. Brundle <laughs> And then you know, Laura Dern can turn into one of them. One of them. Flying, Sword and uh... yeah, yeah, Dern, Dern, Dernosaurus Rex. Dernosaurus Rex and uh, Jeff Gold. See, see, I would prefer this. I would, I would rather Gold. I would rather Eden Malcolm turn into a dinosaur than be murdered by a dinosaur. Well, I mean. DJ. He was supposed to die in the book, by the way. So it's yeah, a hell of a game. He's still living it's on a hell of a game you got going on here. And <laughs> I just got to say, this is all fucking scary shit. <laughs> These are some doesn't... scary fucking thoughts. I, this one scares me the most because I, I think don't want it's ninety-eight percent true. If all of us is going to happen, so I, I yeah. love Ian Malcolm. I don't want anything to happen to Ian Malcolm. I don't want. I, I, I hate when people say, "Well, you got the originals." No, yeah, yeah. I don't. Because mm -hmm. I know where this leads. It's well, like, still, it's like, well, this about, the, it's, it's like you're in court the and they tell the jury to not listen to the testimony that was just uh, strike yeah. that from the record. I heard yeah. it. It exists. That guy admitted to <laughs> killing that kid. Like, no, no, that was before. That no, was, no, that no, was, no. Your, that was his kid. That was their kid. Yeah, that I don't know. I don't kid. know. It's, it's tough to, it's tough to explain. I, um, it's obviously not caring about the fan base and just trying to generally get an audience to, watch your piece of shit and unfortunately uh jurassic world was fine right no, I don't fine. Even that. <laughs> they completed it again i'll give yeah, credit I mean, they, i've they, said this before they made two movies they made two jurassic they world. somehow made money i did made they sequel. made a shitty sequel and a they'll make another shitty sequel we know that it's not gonna be a masterpiece kill chris pratt <laughs> leave ian malcolm Why, what's wrong with chris pratt I just don't care about his character, but I love Ian Malcolm. I love no, Sam Neill's sure. character. Uh, you love him? Alan Grant. He's I love dead. Alan Grant. You love him? He's dead. Fuck you. <laughs> You're too old. We I need am. younger people yeah, now to I buy guess. this shit. And you yeah. know what? The they thing is, the kids those, love the Jurassic killing. Yeah. Kids love killing. Kill somebody else. They got bad people. We're going to take a broomstick like in a prison. <laughs> And he's yeah. gonna be like a child molester. We're gonna shove oh. it right up his ass. Oh, gonna give you a broom. You're gonna Dahmer. You're gonna Dahmer. Yeah, well, Dahmer. Very good, you're gonna, DJ. You're gonna you got room. that reference. Yeah. Good I know for that reference. You. I'm from Florida. <laughs> good for you. He knows. Dahmer. He knows about. He knows about sweeping up the streets. Asshole. <laughs> I know about cleaning up. <laughs> you know, right, here, yeah. This guy. This guy really cleaned up his act. I mean, ass. Uh, here's another one. Uh, the it's Walking One Man Cleaning Crew. Walking Dead spinoff uh, starring Daryl and that other lady. It's going to last longer on television. The original Walking Dead, which is finally mercifully ended. I thought it was dead. It's been Walking Dead for a while. Yeah. <laughs> now it's just going to be dead. It's going to no longer walking. The skeleton's you. walking on the street like this fucking Harry Osmond. has got the joke. Can I ask you a question real quick, all, all, all team members? Yes. Yeah. Let's I'll, have a team I'll, meeting. I'll, Come here. All, all three of us. Everybody uh, huddle up. Let's huddle have, a, let's, let's have a target team meeting. Okay. Um, the thing is... Has anyone here watched Walking Dead in the last couple seasons? <laughs> what's no. the, okay, what's the last episode you saw? Because I, I can tell you mine. I remember. I, I know them. I, know I think them. it was like season two, episode three. I think mine was the one with the uh, season finale with the governor when the governor gets. Uh, Is that six spoiler. years ago? Oh wow! I, I last Killed. longer than both of you guys. Yeah, I, I gave up. I, I watched right when the uh, when all the Negan hit a old. I old, saw the old Negan Glenn scene, but I didn't watch when it. He that bashed episode. old Glenn's head in. Yeah, yeah. When was that? <laughs> That was like four years ago, I think. That was like four four years ago. That was Jesus that was, that was still, Christ. I was still living down in Florida at the time. Jesus That's like, it's Christ. like almost asking, when's the last time you watched an episode of The Simpsons? This is like like 10 years ago. <laughs> 50 years oh, ago. God. I don't know. It's been oh, long my time. God. The Walking Dead needs to fucking die. Last one. Wonder Woman becomes the new, new Mutants and is perpetually delayed for years. <laughs> oh, yeah. I believe that. 
<laughs> it was delayed again, right? Yeah, to December. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I, oh, I thought they deleted it into 2021. I thought uh, right now it's the Christmas Day, so we don't oh, know. Christmas it's Day, that's great. Oh, that's the day yeah, everybody day. wants to go out on Christmas Day to watch yeah. fucking Wonder Woman. Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> All wow. these fucking movies are going to be delayed. Dune is Warner Brothers once again yeah. with a with a fucking home run of an idea. Yep, yeah, you're yeah. smart. Good for you. Dune, you know Dune is the guys? 18th, and Wonder Woman is a week later. And Dune costs 175 million dollars to make, so they're they're not going to just leave it that throw that money away by staying open a week before Wonder Woman. So they're probably going to move to. So yeah, Wonder, Wonder uh, which is a Warner Brothers. Well, yeah, I well. mean, they, they could have spent that 175 million dollars to make other better movies. No, really <laughs> must use properties. <laughs> must use. How dare you? How dare you, son of a? <laughs> You know what's going to be scary is that Wonder Woman probably will underperform. Uh, probably. Well, all movies like, are going to underperform. Well, every, I like think every going to underperform until Everything's like 2022. Underperform. Well, I didn't get to finish that sentence. Oh. Nobody will underperform cares. and then it will be blamed. Ooh. By who? Oh, by men. men. Yeah. They're gonna, oh, they're going to hang. The men are going to hang their. Oh, see, whole wolf women fuck movies thing. don't make money. Shit. They're going to do that shit mm-hmm. again. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know. Though Wonder Woman is the that's only gonna, thing that works with the CEU. I know. It literally is the only the thing only that fucking thing that works. Makes sense. <laughs> I finally watched the Harley Quinn movie. Oh, what'd yeah. you what'd you think? How was that? I, I finished it. I was like, all right, well. That exists, did that. Right? <laughs> that was a late night. I was like, fuck it, I'll watch it. And, I'm going to uh, ask you a question, Justin, which you already know the answer to, but I'm going to ask it anyway, okay? I, I, my, my, uh, my, my sister and the family is over. They just watched it today, this afternoon, I remember. Oh. And uh, it's like we planned this, especially I swear to God. And okay. I, I was I was pointing it out to them, so I'm gonna point it out to you. Can you name there's only one, the answer is one, but can you name the one man in that movie that's not a piece of shit? Because every man in the movie is a piece of shit except for one. One, there's one not. Piece oh, of the shit. well, I was gonna say the, the Chinese guy, but he sells her out, right? Nope, not him, <laughs> he sells her out <laughs> close. <laughs> Oh, that's a good question. It's a good question, um, right? Because if you think about every man in the movie, excellent question. <laughs> good do you for you. Uh, do you think there was an ulterior motive behind? And that? this character has a name too. Then oh, really? He's named, yes. It's um, not Black Mask, is it? He seems no, like a nice definitely guy. not Black Mask. <laughs> that's a good question. Do you, um, would you like the answer? Was it toward the, the end of the movie? No, it's toward the beginning of the movie. Yeah, like really yeah, a Joker. Yeah, no, it's not the Joker. Because <laughs> he actually <laughs> left. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I'm out of here. I don't want to do this shit. <laughs> I'm out. I'm Morbius now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm i really trying to think. but The answer is Sal. The guy who makes her the sandwich is the only one who doesn't treat her oh, like Oh, the shit. breakfast sandwich. The breakfast sandwich mm. guy. Uh, Every, you can't come up with any other man you know, in that I, I would movie. disagree with that because that breakfast sandwich fell apart pretty easily. Well, that wasn't his fault. He well, made, he, I mean, he, he made gave it. it to her for less than it was worth because <laughs> oh. she was like short of money. She's like, go ahead, though. So, okay. That's the only guy that ever gives uh, Harley Quinn a er, only guy in the movie that is not a raging piece of shit. Huh. Even the CSI guy at the huh. crime scene that's talking to Montoya is a piece of shit. <laughs> you know, yeah, I didn't like he how was... old Montoya was in this movie. I think she should have been younger. Yeah. yeah. She was like a grandma. I think she was miscast. Uh, uh, Rosie, Rosie Perez Purpose. is not a good Montoya. No, <laughs> at all. You want to eat young like? I mean, uh, there's so many like younger night. Lat Latina actresses that could have been young Montoya. Sure, Montoya. totally. You I guess they, the Jane the Virgin girl. Get the, yeah, yeah, get her. Got she, some uh, fucking uh, what's her name? Montoya has that 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 drive, and I didn't really feel it with her. You know, that young Rosie Perez always looked rebel. like she was break, about to break. Like she didn't Billy. seem like she was in it. <laughs> Like yeah, she, she was, seemed like with a giggle she was dealing with like 18 kids at her house and she just wanted <laughs> yeah. to fucking not go home. Little, little, it, little known fact about Rosie Perez, maybe not a good actress anymore, but a phenomenal, phenomenal boxing analyzer, uh, analyst. She's oh, yeah. She knows her shit when it comes this to boxing. This is some scary shit you're telling us. Man, this, I, I, this, I heard this, her on a, I think uh, a ESPN radio talking about like, she like broke boxing, that shit down. she broke it down like a fucking. I don't think I remember. Yeah, I remember her. Talk. She's really know. good at that shit. Stop acting and just do boxing. Yeah, stop acting. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> stop Please, stop Warner acting. Brothers, stop it all together. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Warner Brothers, just 
Just stop. I think we have to have like a like a sit down with Warner Brothers and inter- we have to intervene with an intervention. Yeah, we got to be like uh, that, that. Why are these be- doors locked? <laughs> you, know why, <laughs> you know why? You know why? You know why? We want. Why we want to turn what are you all guys doing here? We got to turn <laughs> him in that, into that crying guy who's like, "We're not going to the movies." No, no Warner Brothers, no. No, no, we are not. <laughs> why? Because you can't even make a complete sentence you anymore. <laughs> We need to talk. Oh. What about this talk? About what you're doing to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you're, just, you're, hurt, not, you're not only hurting us, you're hurting yourself. <laughs> That's far more important than the people you're hurting. As well as the uh, fictional characters. <laughs> this has been Scary Thoughts. Putting more horrible imagery in your head than a Brit Ratner phone sex line. Let's do a little TV roundup there. Hey, you there it is. See, there I, you I, I mean, you just you jumped right in. Well, the I'm pool sorry. was pool was cold. Pool was cold. There we go. Matthew mm. Stewart, mm. Esquire. Mm. What have you been watching on mm. television? Quite a bit, actually. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. It's been a lot. There's been a lot of TV mm. on the TV. I'm going to see if one of you guys have watched the thing I've watched, but I'm I'm going to... Well, let's see where we're going with this, huh? Mm -hmm. How about Lovecraft Country? I have not watched it. How good is that? Uh, Because H.P. Lovecraft was a raging uh, racist. A raging racist. (laughs) A raging racist. uh, (laughs) Anti-Semite. Super racist guy. (laughs) Pretty much everything. He he was the modern day... uh, He was like a Nazi that wrote books. Modern day warrior, a mean, mean stripe. Right. That they... H.P. Lovecraft's... Something, something. But the guy who stars in it is uh, speaking of Bir- Birds of Prey. Uh, they got uh, he's just, uh, gonna be in the Marvel universe, and the girl is a uh, Black Canary. So yeah, how, how good is oh, that show? Sp- oh, they're split. Oh, it's a, uh, it's good. I mean, do you like? Um, it's kind of like here's the thing. It's kind of like uh, True Blood. Really? If there was like a lot more racism. <laughs> Wait a minute, True Blood it, was in the South. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I mean. It's, I mean, it's, it's, there's there's a lot of shit in this. Uh, in, a lot of racist stuff. Uh, the first, yeah, yeah, yeah this this movie. What kind of racist stuff? I don't know. White people cops don't like black I, I people. Heard, apparently, in the fifties, it was. A I thing. heard about <laughs> cops like telling get get out of town or we're gonna kill you. Sun down. Yeah, yeah. I, I read all the uh, all the uh, multiple discourses that everybody suddenly got. Uh, well, you know, let me play. Everybody Dallas suddenly advocate. got extremely uh, extremely woke when this. Uh, show like how out. watchmen started where they didn't know I about know. the fucking uh, tulsa riots never heard yeah. of it he's like, oh well, well i studied that in school when i was in sixth grade and my teacher told me about it. it's like no they didn't like, <laughs> sit down white guy okay <laughs> sit, sit down johnny cracker seed um that should be a char- that should be a character that we create. justin work on johnny cracker seed please johnny cracker seed. <laughs> for him. um but but now there's been like this a uh, blowback about the uh Kind of like a, a little bit of like a transphobia blowback on the show now too. So wait, they make fun of transphobia? They no, they, they don't make they don't make fun. They, they, a lot of people say they don't. Uh, it's the creator of Harry Potter on this or something? Oh, yeah, J.K. Rowling's making the show. <laughs> it's like I actually ghost wrote a few episodes, and apparently black Dumbledore's people don't not like really gay, gay people either. <laughs> he just well, locks the cock in his mouth. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Expected p- cockress. That's the new spell I made. It's not gay until you take the dick all the way down between <laughs> your ball sack oh, and what, your mouth. The you only know? thing offensive about this Accents. is the accents. These accents yeah. are awful. <laughs> British people do not talk this way. No. I don't care uh, where you're from. I don't care if you're from fucking Avondale and that's not even a real place. Oh, you just made up a British place, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, Avondale sounds British, right? That's how much I know about British. Avondale. Avondale. I'm from Avondale. Bur- Avondale. I'm Avondale. from Avondale. Yeah. So um, it's um, it's it's a good show, but um, I it's... get my tea from Avondale. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing Gandalf from Avondale. I'm from Avondale. Uh, Avondale. Oh no, we've got to go to Avondale. <laughs> ah. um, train wreck. This is. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Yeah, <laughs> it's a great train robbery. <laughs> this fucking segment is. I'm so, in. So yeah, uh, I mean, watch it. Don't watch it. You know. It's, I don't know. I, I won't watch it. I won't no, watch, I, it. I won't okay. get, watch it to maybe have an opinion. So you can join in on the, uh, on what the is it about? Jordan Peele cr- uh, produced, right? What it's is it about? It's executive produced by him and J.J. Abrams, the, the destroyer of everything <laughs> they realize. What a anyway. weird combination. J.J. Abrams, huh? J.J. Abrams, uh, he gets his little production company spotted. He's the white guy. Yeah, robot. Black side, right? Yeah. Well, I guess if he was like 
damn it, they're not going to make Confederacy anymore. I better jump in on this other thing that involves that was black DB. folks. He was, was he producing that? No, no, the... no. I, well, I don't know. I don't know if Bad Robot, Robot was associated. No, that was, the, that was the, the fuckers behind Game of Thrones that yeah, fucked yeah, up yeah, everything. Yeah, I'm making up shit now. So <laughs> take that for what that is right there. All right, so it's about, a, uh, it's about post-World War II in Chicago, pretty much in the 50s, and uh, uh, Omar Little goes missing. Uh, up to somewhere in uh, the Boston area. And his son, who uh, is going to be Kang the Conqueror, uh, yeah. goes to find him. I'm putting this in, in parlance of like characters that people really know because mm-hmm. they'd be like, who's Michael? My, who's Michael Williams and everything? So I'm yeah, trying to help. Five bloods and- yeah, I'm, try- I'm trying to help our, our, our Doreen public out. So he goes to find him and then there's like a whole Lovecraftian like uh, society and stuff like that. So you get stuff. I don't know. It's it's a it's a mystery, and it's kind of sexy and weird and racist and weird. <laughs> and racist. And it's, <laughs> when you say they, racist, you make it seem like it's a racist show, but it deals with it's race. Not, yeah, it deals with race. It, it shows that people were really racist a long time ago. What a fucking surprise! Oh, what really? No. You mean you mean those whites Get didn't like those here. black people? What a no, fucking no, no talking way. about? No so, way. Yeah. The last episode was enter- entertaining, but a lot of people had uh, had issues with it for reasons I won't bring up because you should watch the show. Yeah, sounds so, good. Sounds like a yeah. movie. Yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> yes. I've already That's... seen, <laughs> so I probably won't watch it. So it's like watching Mississippi burning. Like, wow, that was racist. Um, <laughs> what clan members? <laughs> clan members. <laughs> um, then what else did I watch? Uh, oh, uh, Cobra Kai. That I've whole not thing. seen any of it, but I, just, I I root for it as a show. You, do you like nostalgia, kids? <laughs> you like Danny Danny? Uh... <laughs> you like Danny Ayo? He's not no. in it. <laughs> what was this? What, what is uh, Ralph Macho's name? Ralph, da- Danny, um, Danny LaRusso. The Russo. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, so it's uh, it's 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 a show that's good, but it's also very annoying at the same time. Wow, well, I'll explain that. <laughs> I don't know. Do you like um, I guess modern uh kid drama type shit i guess no like, oh, i don't yeah, care about the kids. cw shit it's got, no, it's got some cw like elements to it but it has a maybe it might have enough nostalgia if you if you like the karate kid franchise enough you'll probably like it mm. do you like the karate kid franchise i'm not a big uh I, it's funny that karate kid is a franchise you know what's funny you know, i, I like karate kid, kid two over karate kid one i prefer karate kid two well, was, oh, is that when he turns bad? When he's like, "I'm going to be in Cobra Kai." No, 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 no. That's no. when he goes to Japan. No. And he goes they, to Japan and Miyagi. I love can't go back to Japan. I, yeah. I know you. I've probably said this before, but I love Karate Kid Two because it literally defeats the whole purpose of Karate Kid One. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah, you, you watch this whole movie, this whole, and it's a good movie. Karate Kid's a great movie, yeah, and, all, yeah, and all he wants is the girl. And then within the first five seconds of he Karate Kid Two, he's like, "I'm, I'm over her." Yep. Yeah, like Kick Ass Two did the same thing, where it was like Fuck. the whole first version, uh, yeah. first yeah. Kick Ass was like him getting the girl. Five minutes in, eh, I'm done. It's not I'm gonna work be out. a superhero now. Yeah, <laughs> turns so. out she's a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. The, the show is turns out she's got a large okay. vagina. I'm, yeah. I'm rooting for Billy Zabka. I, I, I like him as a. Uh... He's good. I mean, he plays the same 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 kind of character. I mean, so he's still kind of he's a dick, but he's trying to grow. Still going by Billy these days. Uh, Will, Billy, sorry, William Zappa. B- so Billy, William. Okay, good. Bill, Billy up. Zappa. Will, Will, Willie Zappa. Frank <laughs> Zappa. Zappa. Zappka. <laughs> and uh, what's the other? So, yeah, that's fine. And then the third one is. Fuck, what's the other one? I think Jess and I have been watching it's, uh, The Boys. The yeah. I've not started. watched it yet. I have not started season two, but I, I hear it's. Uh... The four yes. episodes to catch up on right now. So yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, Matt and I have been watching The Boys. We'll probably be doing a do video on it. Oh, please do a video, please, please. Uh, maybe like a midway point since yeah, we've hit. I don't the, know how many episodes this season is though. Is it it's like eight? Is it eight, eight or yeah. ten? I think I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna start it probably tomorrow. Okay. Well, yeah. I will say um, it is the boys, so that's good. Yeah, it's, good. it's the boys. It's Carl Urban. I don't, I don't know married. if I'm wrong on this, but I mm. feel like it kind of starts off a little weak. Ooh, that gets um, a lot better. There's some, there's some, there's some points in it with the whole uh, the deep thing that I could pr- kind of do with that. I think it could, it could be worse, Justin. It could be like how Jessica Jones season two started really good and then it's ended bad. <laughs> well, it hasn't ended yet, so we'll see. So yeah, yeah, we don't know yet. <laughs> We're only halfway through there, my friend. There are some interesting things I like about this season, mm-hmm. um, and 
it's yeah. interesting uh, how this progress so far uh, four episodes in. So Pretty good. I mean, it's good. It's good. It. I think it's the only reason why I have an Amazon Prime account these days is to watch. <laughs> the only the reason to have an Amazon Prime account. Yeah. Uh, that and, unless, uh, unless you're watching Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, like I. No. Am. <laughs> People still watch it. I'm the only one. <laughs> I'm, Jew- I'm Jewish and I won't even watch it. <laughs> it's true. It's almost like tailored for you. And it's- you must hate <laughs> women. Is that what it is? It might be it. That might be I, it. I hate my mom. <laughs> <laughs> got mommy issues. Yeah, I got the, the Jewish I thing, my, right? Yeah, yeah, my whole family. My, yeah. Uh, my mom. Yeah, oh. I hate my mom. I got to go to my therapist. Love it. It's, a, my it's a woman. It's a, it's a Jewish woman. It's like, yeah, it's like my mom. I hate Why can't you bring home a nice woman? <laughs> like your mother. Why can't you get a nice girl and settle down? <laughs> wait, wait, this is like no. a tribal. Why couldn't you bring a <laughs> rye no, bread, no, a no, nice no. rye bread to dinner sometime? That was a, that was a fucking Pesci's mom in Goodfellas. Oh yeah. Why do you get a good Scors- girl to settle down? Mom. Isn't that yeah. Scorsese's mom? I need a knife. I need to borrow a knife. Hey, borrow that. <laughs> hey, mom, I gotta cut get a knife. Off. I gotta cut <laughs> it. The we hit a fucking deer. <laughs> it's the thing that got you know, it's like it got caught in the, in the oh it's hoof. This might be the the, thir- the three hundredth <laughs> reference to this, but kids, if you haven't seen Goodfellas, <laughs> just, watch, just watch just watch that scene. Fuck wall culture, just watch it anyway. It's yeah. so fucking good. It's such a no, masterpiece. It's, yeah. it's a fucking masterpiece. Man. Yeah, I don't think people. I don't know. People don't say shit. I mean, maybe we're not. Fo- I don't throw that word around. It's 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 not f- the Raiders but of the Lost me. Ark. I'd say goodfellas is right there in yeah. terms of perfect movie like there's yeah. nothing i would I just want to i want to read people's opinions about why it's like you know um like why why you would cancel it you know that type of thing. No, i don't think anybody's canceled it yet i'm just saying if you look if, i know but it, it seems ripe for the cancel if anybody was mad like, everything any, is right for the cancel. yeah everything yeah. is anything like, could be canceled i can cancel you right now i could <laughs> i dare you fucking, you're fucking, I, you're done dare you to fucking cancel me I can cancel what, myself at this speaking point. Speaking of canceling, what else have you been watching on tel- television? Uh, I started watching, uh, uh, going back and watching uh, Eastbound and Down. Oh, look at this guy. He went back to the well, huh? Yeah, oh, which is quite hilarious and uh, needed some of that in my life. Is I that a show? That... I, I never I, I, I never finished it, So, I, but I heard it. I don't know if it got worse as it went along or? I think it stayed the course. It, it stayed the course. Yeah, I would say it stayed the course. It gets it gets a little cra- it gets a little crazy sometimes. It gets a little nuts. That episode does take place in the far future, uh, with hovercrafts and stuff, or maybe it doesn't. Who knows? <laughs> maybe he's writing a script. Spoiler alert. Uh-oh. Um, but it's uh definitely definitely absolutely um one of those gold mines of 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 comedy. I think uh, Eastbound and Down was fantastic. Just like uh, Vice Principal, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The Walton Goggins or whatever it's called. Yeah, that was uh, fantastic, but short lived. This is yeah. only four four seasons, and I think it's like only twenty. They did four seasons. Right? Four, four, four seasons. One oh, season's Beast, quite short. Of oh, Eastbound and Down, not yeah. The Vice Principals only had what? Two? No, it was like two or three. Two, right? Maybe like one two and a half episode <laughs> seasons. Yeah, yeah. but um, Eastbound and Down was only. Like thirty episodes. Yeah, they were total. Short, like six episodes each or something like that. Um, yeah, they kind of vary. They're not all the same. Those seasons. So one season I think is like almost ten episodes. One season's like six. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it's it's absolutely it's absolutely um, still holds up, which I think is great. I remember watching that when it was uh, airing, mm-hmm. um, and yeah, so I, I started watching that again. That's when Will Ferrell was funny. Yeah, World Farrell is quite fucking hilarious. In this, yeah. <laughs> Everybody in that show kind of brought their A game. Yeah, there's there's quite a few uh, cameos that pop Isn't up. Isn't Deep too. Roy in one season from? Oh yeah, he's in the Mexico. The season. Mexico scene. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Matthew that. McConaughey's in it. Oh, mm-hmm. look at that shit! I didn't even know that. All right. As well, um, everybody everybody wanted to get on get in on that shit. Quite a bit, and then I and I was also watching um, watching Seinfeld too. Just trying to no. laugh, you know. Going way back to the well. Well, you were watching Seinfeld last. I always year. watch Seinfeld. I, I every year I usually it's, watch it's it. It's like but... the it's like the comfort food of TV shows. It's like okay, I just want to feel comfortable. Let me just put on some Seinfeld. Okay, yeah. I can it's forget the chicken, shit. the chicken soup of uh, yeah. the chicken soup of TV. I like that. I think every year so... I probably go through it. Um, just you know, you come on watch an episode or two type deal. Mm-hmm. It's been a while. The I think the last time I watched it was like the beginning of last year. So I'm watching it again, and it's 
still perfect. <laughs> as far as I'm, I can. It see. holds up, unlike Friends. Yeah, I said it, fuckers. Yeah, I never <laughs> watch Friends. Yeah, people not still my, like not that. my cup of tea. And people still watch it, but I don't. I, I watch it <laughs> recently. I'm like, this is this is dated as fuck. Well, let me I just say, like, I feel I, like it's kind of gone that thing where Seinfeld's gone under here, and Friends has kind of gone way up. Though yeah. people, that's because a lot of idiots like Friends. Um, the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Time for another startling soliloquy by the sociopathic siren of simplistic reviews. It's Julie's diary. Dear diary, had to buy a ton of candy for the trick or treaters this year, but the clerk at the drugstore gave me a dirty look because I happened to buy a chicotro along with it. Razor plates and candy is a myth, like Santa Claus or an empathetic Republican. There is no past evidence or reported case of razor blades ever being found in candy or apples. You want to fact check? Fine. In 1959, some dickless dentist put laxatives in the candy he gave out, which only resulted in kids shitting buckets. Like that wouldn't already happen after eating 10 Tootsie Rolls at once. And in 1974, some kid ate cyanide inside of a pixie stick but not a pixie stick he got trick or treating, instead it was one slipped into his candy by his own father who poisoned him to collect on the life insurance money. That's it. That's all the reported cases that somewhat resemble this asinine myth. So no, Margaret at Walgreens. There is little likelihood that I, or anyone else is gonna use candy or fruit as a Trojan horse for children maiming weapons. There is, however, a likelihood that if I don't shave my legs, the Brillo pad-like bristles that I'm cursed with are going to shred my sheets in the night like Freddy Krueger's claw. This has been Julie's Diary. The Simplistic Reviews podcast will return after these messages. Seriously, I got legs like a tarantula right now. Do you like movie podcasts hosted by inebriated people? That's Kai with the cracking voice and Heather's touched by evil. One thinks he's Spider-Man, the other is a ninja. It's the Man I Love Film Podcast, it's the MILFCAST. Hey everybody, I'm Kai. And I'm Heather. And we are the host of MILFCAST, the Man I Love Films Podcast, the unofficial official podcast of ManILoveFilms.com. This is the podcast where we like to talk about what we've been watching, talk about movies, but mainly we just like to drink, be silly, and play a whole bunch of games. So we think every other week you should grab a drink, snuggle up, and let us make sweet love to your ears. Otherwise... We'll make sweet love to your couch. So come and find us on iTunes. Just search for MILFCAST. Hello? Well, hello, Sydney. Look, whoever you are, first off, my name's not Sydney. Secondly, you better stop calling here. I've already called the cops. They're going to come here. They're going to track you down and... Do you want to die, Sydney? No. Then answer my questions or I'll cut you like a fish. What do you want? Just to get to know you better. Uh, um, okay. What's your favorite scary movie? Scary movie? I don't know. Sounds of the Lambs? Oh yeah, wait, that that's not a scary movie. I'd say it's a thriller at best. Well, not to correct you, Mr. Scary Voice, but that depends on your definition for a scary movie? There's only one definition for a scary movie, Sydney. Again... Not Sydney, and I'm pretty sure there is no singular definition for a scary movie. It's all kind of subjective. Of course there is. It's a movie where some freak is slicing and dicing a bunch of venison and co-ed, spilling blood and guts and causing death and mayhem. Literally everything you just said happens in Sounds of the Lambs. Pick another one. Fine, fine. Scary Movie 3. You're not taking this seriously. Who cares, man? Film is subjective. What I think is a scary film might be different from what you think is a scary film. Scary Movie 3 isn't a film. It certainly isn't a scary movie. The uh, title says otherwise. It's a parody. It's a comedy. It's not even the first film in a franchise. The fucking thing has a 35% on Rotten Tomatoes. Was that critics' consensus or audience score? It doesn't fucking matter. Scary movie can't be your favorite scary movie because it isn't fucking scary. Some of those bad jokes are pretty scary. That's not the same thing, Paul. Wait, is that you, Gus? Uh, I gotta go. What are you supposed to be, a clown or something? What are you supposed to be, a lion tamer? What are you supposed to be, a disappointment? Time for a game in which putting on a mask won't totally enrage a bunch of anti-science morons. 
It's what are you supposed to be? What are you even supposed to be? What are you supposed to be? This is the uh, game in which I describe a costume I'm theoretically wearing, and these guys will have to buzz in and guess who I am. Ooh. For this game, Justin's buzzer will be the sound of the penguin biting off a man's nose. Could be worse. <laughs> My nose could be gushing blood. <laughs> <laughs> and that's yeah. buzzer will be the sound <laughs> of Judge Doom screaming at Eddie Valiant. Remember me? Right, yeah, so you have to guess who I am. All right, ready? Here's the All first. All right, let's do this. Bald head. Bald head. Bald head. Now, are all these themed out, or are they just anything you wanted it to be? Uh, it's kind of a theme. you catch oh, on. Oh, look at that. We're going to catch on quick. Bald head in a library card. Bald head in a library card. Oh. Bald head, a library card. And a prison uniform. Bald head, a Bald head, a library card, and a prison uniform. Hmm. Bald head, a library card, a prison uniform, and several intricately filled out journals. Remember me, Eddie? When I killed your brother, I talked. Yes! Wait! Yes. Uh, yeah. Um... Do, do, do I have to say his name? <laughs> you can say the character's name. Oh. <laughs> yeah. John John Doe. Correct. <laughs> do I have to say it's, his name? It's funny, funny how we well, it's funny, it's funny. It's funny how we talked about him earlier in the show. I know. I, 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 almost like it was on purpose. This show, uh, <laughs> this show has depth. So if you don't listen to the whole show, Sometimes you, I uh, incept yeah, the uh, I incept Matthew and Justin so they hey, have hey, it fresh in their mind. You don't have my permission to incept. Then the next clue was uh, bladed strap on dildos, which I'm pretty sure you would have gotten. That today. Yeah. <laughs> well, he might wear that. And that's that, and then that's Kevin Spacey. All right, here we go. Red eyes. Red eyes. Right. Don't Red know. eyes, horns, okay. green leathery skin. Green leathery skin. Yep. Well, you get like a rapid fire thing there. You get what? Green eyes, skin horns, skin or green, leathery skin? It's green and leathery. It's greenish, brownish, grayish, leathery skin. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's, that's, a lot of qual- that's a lot of qualifiers. Yeah. Well, does, this is, not... does the skin change color based on the lighting? But I think the skin's color depends on the person. What? Oh, because I can oh, say it's a, green, but it's not green, green, it's black. Oh, it's not black, it's brown. No, I, I think, it's not no, brown, think, it's, it's like green. No, I, I think colors are pretty... Like, the next clue. Pretty, pretty uh, straightforward. Red eyes, <laughs> horns, green, uh, leathery skin. <laughs> <laughs> it's not green anymore. It's just a New York high-rise residence. Could be worse. <laughs> My nose could be gushing blood. <laughs> is it Ghostbusters? Yeah, it is Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's just the character Ghostbusters. It's it's Ghostbusters. Character. The, Ghostbusters is known as the character. <laughs> My next clue was an accountant as a host body. <laughs> oh. yes, yes. So were you, were you going to call? Well, was it the the, the demon Doxet or or was it? It was uh, the the key master the key slash master. Vince Clortho was the answer. Vince Clortho. <laughs> Vince Clortho, the the dick master. That's what I said, the key master, because it's a little bit a lot easier to remember than Vince Clortho. <laughs> no, a lot of people don't remember. See, I was going to say Chris, Kristen Wiig. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. Rolled up magazine. My father. <laughs> <laughs> Rolled up magazine. <laughs> My father. What the fuck? <laughs> Rolled up magazine in a British accent. How do you wear a British accent? I wear it like this. <laughs> well, wear it badly. <laughs> I wear a British accent, I am. I wear badly. Like Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> uh, rolled up magazine, a British accent, internal circuitry. Remember me, Eddie? When I killed your brother, I talked. Yes! Wait! Um, a- Ash. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> There was a moment where I was thinking that, and then I was like, nah. <laughs> this show has depth. 
There was there was that, that always weirds me out about that movie is that he tries to rape her with a magazine. It's just weird. Break, we just shoved it down her throat. Yeah, there's that whole movie is like is that what it, is that how Android free flipping it? It was a porno magazine, magazine, by the way. <laughs> so, it was. Yeah, it was oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is it, was it a good one? There's a whole theory, like a, a, a what do you call it? <laughs> Video about the sexual innuendo of Alien. Now, like when they kill, um, when the alien xenomorph kills the girl that. It's supposedly like a transgender, it goes up her legs into her crotch and then kills her. Like er- er- everything about that. But movie. I think people. Are, I don't uh, think. I don't think there's anything wrong with that I've done that numerous times. Oh, of course, many, many times. Uh, yeah, you make it harder. Uh, is that the hardest one you have? That was easy. That one. was that was pretty hard. Uh, <laughs> a, a, a Charlie Brown style sweater. Not Charlie Brown. <laughs> but Charlie Freddy Brown. Cooper? But Charlie Brown esque. Charlie Brown esque sweater, but it's not Charlie Brown. Oh, it's not Friday Cougar. No, that's like a Christmas sweater. Yeah, that's true. Charlie Brown likes so that's that's like a yellow sweater with the, with the black. Nah, with the, with I didn't the say the anything about triangle. color. I just said a Charlie Brown has sweater. Okay, but, next question. Next question. No, yeah, <laughs> next question. <laughs> <laughs> Put words in my fucking mouth. Uh, a devilish grin <laughs> with a Charlie Brown esque sweater. Yes, and a devilish grin. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> if you could see Justin's face right now, which you can't, I cannot. It looks like he's taking a <laughs> shit. <laughs> Next question: uh, glasses, glasses, glasses. Dallas grin, glasses, and a, a Charlie Brown esque sweater. Yeah, yeah. Uh, devilish yeah. grin. He's got a devil. Is this a, a throw a callback uh, thing too? Or is this completely organic? Technically, yes. Oh, but fuck. it was bef- it was pre. God damn it! I gotta re- now. We gotta re-listen to our show. Yeah, maybe if you listen to me guys. <laughs> maybe if I listen. To <laughs> if can. I really listen to you guys during the show. Yeah, this was, this would yeah. all make sense. Perhaps a little bit. Well, still so no. Charlie Brown sweater, devilish grin glasses. Not, no, Charlie Brown esque sweater. Sorry, yeah. Charlie Brown esque sweater. Uh, I'm the I'm the sweater Nazi. <laughs> sweater Nazi over here. Sweater, Charlie Brown esque sweater, over. a devilish grin glasses, long fingernails. None of these are helpful. None of these are helpful. This can be. <laughs> yeah. Do you know this, Matt? I don't know. I don't. I don't. Uh, he's got long fingernails. He's got glasses. He's got a weird sweater, and he's got a a grin. That's. A devilish grin. A devilish. Obviously. Devilish grin. He's got a devilish grin. And he wears glasses. Long he's got, fingers. He's got a library card probably too. No, he does not. No, damn it. He's got long fingers. But you know what? I, th- I did reference this two different ways. Really? <laughs> As a matter damn of fact, actually, yeah. Uh, this is a, a horror character? Like a... uh, Not specifically, no. No. Oh. Does horrible things. Yeah. Uh. Horrible, horrible things. Because the last clue is horrible. a trophy of a dead hooker head. Trophy of a dead hooker head. Yeah. Remember me, Eddie? When I kill your brother, I talk. Yes! Wait! What is it? It's um, oh, Kevin. Kevin, correct. <laughs> Kevin is the answer. I guess he does have like a Charlie Brown. I mentioned story. Frodo. I said Gandalf. And I also mentioned you mentioned Rucker Hauer, who is his oh, father. He's, he, <laughs> in that it's, like, it's more like his character. He's more like his Batman to his. Uh, it's kind of like, yeah, Batman he's like the, he's the Robin to his Batman. Or the other kid. Pedophilia Terry, he's, and like Terry, he's like the Terry McGillicuddy. <laughs> he's the Terry McGillicuddy. <laughs> no, Terry McGinnis. Ter- Terry, Terry Bradshaw. Terry Bradshaw. That's it. <laughs> all right. Well, this the last one. This is for, this one's for all the marbles. Oh Jesus Christ! Here we go. This one's for for the whole thing. This is super easy because you get this in five seconds. All right. Tampax tampons. Uh. What? <laughs> <laughs> tampons. Well, it's obviously tampons. a female character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. It would have been a, it would it would no it would have been a good twist if it's like no it's not no it's not it's a dude it's a dude he who bought t- he, dude who bought tampons for his girlfriend. Hey man, you got any tampons, man? <laughs> got any tampons? <laughs> you ever been in a store and asked for that? Like, hey, where are the these tampons? tampons uh, you know, you know, edible tampons. underwear, man. Uh, uh, tampons and a crown. There you go. Tampons. I mean, it, I don't know. Like a real crown? Yeah. Uh, like on a helmet. 
Like there's tampons? The, the headwear? There's headwear, yes. Is it a crown of tampons? No. So, okay. <laughs> so, uh, they, they were purchased lesbian separately. porno? Mm, no. No. Yeah. Are you sure? Are there... uh, yeah. Is this the crown? <laughs> <laughs> Tampons, a crown, and a prom dress. Oh, uh, could be worse. <laughs> My nose could be gushing blood. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie? Yeah. Uh, he's the winner. He got, he got all the marbles. There you go. The next one was a bucket of blood. If you didn't get it there, I don't know what else. <laughs> I said his tampons really didn't work, did they? No. no. <laughs> they Quite did a bit not. of blood in them. She movie. murdered the entire fucking city, didn't she? <laughs> well, how about that? I won the game. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Didn't show up the whole fucking game. And won. It's like the, the fucking New England Patriots of this podcast. Appreciate that. Thank you. Sporting reference doesn't work on this show at all. You sure about like, that? I don't know. People are maybe Tom I Brady. I got it. Maybe Bill Belichick's listening. Are you calling me Tom Brady? No, no. <laughs> I'm calling you Robert Kraft because you'd like to get the old rub downs. <laughs> In Florida, I do like to be jerked <laughs> off. Thank you. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's why, like, that's why I called you your your uh, your secret identity. Your crap. No, it's not secret. I, I'm pretty pretty out there with it. It's blatant with it. Yeah. Have ever have you ever seen Justin and Robert Kraft in the same room? No. Yes. Same fucking person. <laughs> have you ever seen Justin eat a mac tampon? and cheese by Kraft? No. Oh man. <laughs> oh. I pay money for that. <laughs> I'd I'd give you a, People have paid money a, for that. I'd give you a buck. <laughs> I'd give you at least a dollar a month. This has been What Are You Supposed to Be? The one public place where Valentine feels comfortable cross-dressing. What the fuck are you even supposed to be? Matthew, tell everybody our information. Yeah, just go over to simplistic.reviews and uh, check out all the cool stuff. What kind of cool stuff is there, Matt? <sighs> I don't know. I haven't checked the website lately. Really? What's on it? <laughs> well, we got reviews. We've got videos. We've got interviews. We've got links you can click to take you to places you won't even fucking believe. You like can what? Go to. Like a shop where you can buy things that have our names on it. And by our names, I don't mean our names. I mean our names. Like SR names. You mean our names? No, SR, SR names. <laughs> I got mean, SR. Hats <laughs> and stuff to put over your mouth. And I'm not talking about ball gags, but we might Ooh. have those on there soon. We Who might. Knows? We're you know, dipping we're our no. toes in any revenue stream we can get our grubby little mitts on. Why is that? Or is that because we are whores? Yes. We're I mean, whores, but maybe. we will whore ourselves out. Would, well, listen, I can I make that really, easy I don't really for like you. To go mm. by labels. You, want, you want that to be easier? You want to whore yourself out easier, Matt? Yes. No, I want them to work for it. <laughs> well, DJ wants it easy. Yeah, I want it easy. Give it to me. Well, so, he, listen, he, all you have to type like in morning. in a coupon section of somewhere on some website that Ooh, maybe yeah. is not yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. All you have to type in is listen. Ooh. I want 15. Oh, 15. Man, let me write Look, that out to you. Yeah. Listen, listen. I, I want, want 15. 15. Don't get off. Don't take guess, what guess you, how much but, you get off. Uh, well, well, <laughs> is that a true question? <laughs> there going to be a test after this. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you can how much 15 off? 15 off. Percent, you That's a percentage. Wow. That's a 15 percentage. Yeah. You only have to pay 85% of 100. That's incredible. Yeah. It's amazing. Are you fucking kidding me? It's fantastic. Am I giving that out? It's stupendous. Am you I going to lose money on this? It's reckless. I yes. think I think it is reckless. I yeah. am a rebel without a cause. You're yeah. a rebel with a cause, and it's yeah. giving out 15% on everything we got. That's but, incredible. I can't believe I just did that. You did it. You just ruined the business model. You, you should call the cops on me and lock me up. I'm Justin just stole from his own self to give yeah. you a deal. Justin like just robbed himself up and threw away his key. I'm pretty sure I'm Robin Hood. He's Robin you're Hood. Ro you're Robin Hood, right? He's the Sicilian Robin Hood. You Jesus Christ. <laughs> DJ. Yes. Why mm. won't you stop me? I keep I saying, listen. There's no I control in this guy. Every time I turn around, yeah, you can't listen, control this guy. Out 15. I, I, I have giving out fucking code words like listen. 15? I won 15. That's a mm -hmm. fucking crazy. That's crazy shit. You can, you can have, have it. Hard to remember. You can have 15, DJ. I just heard you say it. 
Listen, yeah. you don't have to scream at me, man. <laughs> no. We're just trying to talk you some sense to you, you know. You the fake, to put the money in the fucking bag. Like, look, man. <laughs> look, we know a lot of people, you know, you know, they want 15, but I want, I want listen, I want 15. <laughs> I'm listen, listening, listen, listen, guys. Listen, listen. I'm telling yeah. you, you can have 15. Yeah, I'm listening listen, too. I, I heard you. I want 15 too. Yeah. So do all the people out here listening. They want so 15. Why don't they just listen? I don't know. Because <laughs> they didn't make it this far. <laughs> Who <laughs> does? I'm surprised we made it this far. I think we should start putting the coupon code in the beginning. No. Of the <laughs> that's, the, that's the whole point. <laughs> you got to make them wait. Get out, you got that 15. You There's get, no you, other 15. You don't want to listen to those other podcasts that we give 10% off on. No. <laughs> well, for um, <clears throat> mm-hmm. fire and COVID, I'm on employment fire. saying I'm out of money. You're all fucks. <laughs> it's okay because listen, I want 15. You can use two times per person. Ooh. Two. So if you're, you know, so you can use it once and then use it again. Again. Yeah. But how are you going to do that if you're on fire? Or unemployed. Or unemployed. Or, or got COVID. COVID. <laughs> well, listen. Well, listen. I want a vaccine. I want 15. <laughs> 15. <laughs> I want my 15. I want. Congratulations. For the rest of time, whenever anyone asks if you've lived dangerously, done something crazy, or thrown caution to the wind, you can say, you've listened to an entire episode of the Simplistic Reviews podcast. A task so unsafe, insurance companies would rather cover Tom Cruise and Jackie Chan before any of our audience. This podcast is a proud member of the Lamb Podcasting Network. Find the network at largeassmovieblogs.com. I'm serious. You guys are practically like 1970s test pilots. Or experimental Russian drug trial guinea pigs. Probably more that last one.